Do you want the world to be a more comfortable place for people? Do you believe that it is predominantly a comfortable place for people? In your nation, do you think more people are uncomfortable because of their living environment or because of the thoughts they think? That's really worth thinking about, isn't it? As society is evolving, is it possible to slip back? Can you slip back? What do you think? The reason we want you to ponder that is because vibrationally speaking, as you become more, you cannot then become less again. And it is the fact that you've become more that makes where you stand now relevant. If you haven't become more, then the need or desire to improve wouldn't be present. In other words, if you could become more and then you could say, well, I'm gonna keep beating the drum of poverty even though I've asked for more and the larger part of me has become it, I'm not going. So source, come back over here with me. Source isn't ever gonna come back over here with you. You've got to go over there with source. There is no slipping back from the vibrational becoming. You, there is no retrograde. There is no moving back. There is no unbecoming. That's why every civilization, every generation is an improvement over the last without exception. Is it possible for you to live an experience and ask for something more and then take back what you've asked for? It isn't. You have to keep up with who you have become. So we're gonna go into a new place here. Stay with us, you're really gonna like this. So if you have no choice, if you are to be the joyful being that you were born to be, then to go in the direction of who you have become if someone comes into your experience and says to you, I see that you cannot do that for yourself, therefore I will do it for you. And you accept their, whatever it is they're offering. So you're soothed and so temporarily you feel better so you don't go ahead and become what you've become. Have you been helped in the long run or hindered? That's what disempowerment is. Disempowerment is providing for anyone options other than their personal alignment. And you can tell by the way you feel when you are doing that. When you say to someone, I do this for you because I see you cannot do it for yourself, you disempower them. And that's the reason that that charity that you offer, that you've been taught all of your life, is virtuous and should feel so good doesn't. It does not feel good to disempower others. And their lack of appreciation should be your first clue. <laughs> you can't give them enough. They stand there with their hands out. In time, they begin to belittle you for your prosperity because you're not giving them a big enough piece of your pie, you see. It never works. It never ever will work. It's time to start playing the game with the laws of the universe. That's where your leverage is and that's where your solutions are and that's where your results will come from.